Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us is Holly. It's like we've been always <sighs> presenting together. We're at Paris Games Week, Holly. <laughs> we've done our live stream. So now if we make a mistake, it doesn't matter because we can just edit it out. <laughs> I can swear the now. The pressure is off. Um, but we're going to talk about six announcements from the Paris Games Week Media Showcase the blew us away, Holly, because there was some amazing stuff. It was amazing because like, we finished the panel and they quickly grabbed us and like ushered us into the room so we could watch it. And it was yeah. mesmerizing. It was amazing. So, Holly, you're going to kick things off with Concrete Genie, which yeah. is a brand new game. It looks amazing. Now, we're actually going gonna to focus on the main show, not the yes. show that we yeah, did. Yeah. But Concrete Genie, for me, I was sat there just like this. I... I Everything about that game spoke to me. Artistically, the, the way you brought things to life. I just, I love having some of those experiences thrown in with the AAA games that yeah. I enjoy. You need that, you need to balance that. And this, I need to see more. I'm gonna throw the whole like, hi, I work for PlayStation Access, can I see your game please? <laughs> thing at them at some point. Yeah, that's I mean, jam. it looked like he, he was using his art as a way to escape you know, the, the bullies yeah. that were hounding him in his real life. And it spoke to me about, you know, looking at a city and seeing just artistic possibilities everywhere. Seeing where you could add the beauty yeah. into a world that was already quite dark and, and, and really quite awful yeah. to you as well. Yeah, but it, it looks beautiful. beautiful. Um, a game I was really pumped for was uh, Sucker Punch's new title. <laughs> I'm going to say this correctly, Ghost of Tsushima. That's incredible. Which just looked like an awesome samurai game. We didn't see much in the way of gameplay. It was all kind of like a cutscene. There was a really kind of haunting uh, voiceover in the trailer. Mm. And it turned out that he was there grilling this samurai, asking him to, are you going to surrender? And it just cuts out to this big, open, dramatic shot of the samurai. No, I'm not <laughs> surrendering. <laughs> it's you sure you went mocap for that oh. one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was me. It just looked badass. Like I'm, I'm praying for something like in the in the style of Oni Musha, something like that. But we know nothing about that game other than it's no, being made by yet. Sucker Punch, who of course made the Infamous series. So yes. really good AAA pedigree there. Mm. I mean, it's going to be awesome. So I'm funny, sure. Dinner last night, we were actually talking about. I wonder if Sucker Punch are going to be there because we haven't seen anything from Not them in a while. while. And then that. There but they are. Stunning stuff. So Holly, your next game is. Um, Detroit. Detroit. Now, I'm going to be really real. I actually, I did actually get a bit upset during the, the sort of the demo. I agree, uh, yeah. It was very heavy. It was, however, incredible. Yeah. Um, and it was also Kara as well. Yes. Because if you remember the tech demo as well, mm. everyone was like, please make that into a game, do something with it. So this is actually us seeing her, the evolution of that tech demo actually into the final game. Yes. Which was very incredible. It also really did hammer home the the storytelling option as in yeah. you need to pick stuff and what you pick has such a massive difference because we know that if your character that you're playing as sort of dies there's no game over that's yeah. where the story for that character ends so if you make some bad choices you can have some really quite dark story outcomes as that trailer showed us and i and I, I think the trailer for as much as it was heavy really really showed just yeah. how important decisions are in a game like detroit and for yeah. me that's that's what I want from a Quantic Dream, a David Cage experience. Yes, I agree. Uh, another game, talking about decisions, um, Erica. It was a, a PlayLink title. So Looked cool. absolutely sensational. It was like a, a live action story unfolding in front of you, but you can interact with the, like, mm. we saw wiping away Erica's tears in real time, like turning the pages of an actual That's live action book in real time. And to be able to do that kind of thing now on, on PS4 with, with PlayLink especially, it's incredibly exciting how you can, these kind of games, these decision-making games, and how involved you can become in these decisions. And obviously the style of it, the, the very cinematic style, the live action. Mm. I couldn't believe that technology was is going to be playable on PS4. It seems mad. It wasn't actually. Uh, after the, the live stream, I actually hosted a panel called Gaming for Everyone. Yes. And Liz was on that, the head of the London Studio, oh, right. new development for London Studio. She was talking about this idea of like the world between films and games blurring and what Erica actually does to do that, how it manipulates your emotions. It looks like you're watching a film, but you know it's still a game. Yeah. Really, really interesting stuff coming out of the London studio. It, it, it looks phenomenal. It really did. Um, Holly, your last game. What I, are you going to talk about? Oh, it's not even a game. It's no, like a, a cool announcement. Um, I'm obviously new to Monster Hunter, but I have been quite lucky to get uh, up and close and personal with it. So I'm very, very excited for Monster Hunter World. 
Seeing Aloy in it though yeah. was incredible. Now again, anyone who knows Monster Hunter knows that, that your companion is a big deal, but that being turned into a watcher. Yeah, it was so cool. It was so cool. And it, but she um, she fits. Like, it's the I was gonna say, it's the perfect fit, isn't it? Aloy what, hunting massive monsters. I just love yeah. that I'm obviously I'm getting so excited about the fact that she's Aloy and Monster Hunter. But those two beautiful worlds smushing together, no kiss. Yeah, is exactly basically what I want. Be horizon all over again in the world of Monster Hunter world. Oh, you know what? I'm fine with that. Yes. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Now your final one. Uh, the then, final Rob. one we can't not talk about uh, the Last of Us Part <laughs> Two, um, which uh, you don't need us to tell you is, is one of, if not the most highly anticipated PS4 yes. exclusive incoming. Um, that trailer was very surprising. Very brutal. Yeah. I mean, we know Last of Us is a very yeah. brutal kind of a game anyway. They don't show away from shy away from showing no. quite graphic violence quite often. But that trailer again, much like Detroit, was was a hard watch. It was a hard watch because it was very visceral. Very visceral. Yeah, it really uh, was. Very real. Uh, we were introduced to a load of new characters. We don't really know no, anything about know. the characters that were in the trailer. Joel and Ellie. I don't think we saw them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just really interesting dynamic there. And it's they're basically saying, okay, you wanted more of The Last of Us? Here's some more Last Have of it. Us. How do you like this? In the eyes. Someone having their arms smashed to bits with a hammer. That was, yeah, that Ugh. was. My arm still aches even from watching that. I mean, it's going to be incredible. Um, but <laughs> they're not shying away, are they, Naughty Dog? It wasn't, it, no. They're making a hardcore game. And... Obviously, it's hard. That detracted from, or not detracted, but you know, maybe distracted from how incredible the facial animation and the, mo oh the my performance God. capture was in it. It that, looked insanely that, good. That was next level. You know, you're talking about the real time with thing like Erica. You almost couldn't tell the difference. No, it's the bit where they prodded the knife in that in that woman's I, midriff and the way real. her stomach flexed. It looked completely. Was the real. best stomach flexing graphics I've ever seen. Fle <laughs> stomach flex tech. <laughs> yeah. That's TM. what it's called. That's, TM, what, that's yeah. what it is now. Um, oh, that was a whirlwind. There we go. It? There's our whirlwind rundown of six moments from the Paris Games Week media showcase that blew us away. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we're going to have some more in depth, uh, hands on, and um, yeah. looks at some of these games we've talked about so. over the coming days. Uh, please do stay tuned. Please do subscribe so you don't miss anything from the world of PlayStation.